Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. The diagram shows points A, B, C and D on the circumference of a circle with center O. So we can see that there are four points A, B, C and D on the circle. AD is a straight line and AB is given equal to side BC and angle OAB is given as 52 degrees. We have to find the angle ADC. So they are talking about the angle AD and C, this angle. Now let us start with the triangle which has the maximum information. Here we can see that triangle OAB is having an angle as 52 degrees and we can see that side OA is equal to side OB because both are the radius of the circle. So if this is going to be 4 cm then OB is also going to be 4 cm. Same thing happens with OC and OD as well because they are also the radius of the given circle. In this case we can see that OC can also be taken as 4 cm for example. Now again they have given that side AB is equal to side BC. That means if we take side AB as 8 cm then BC is also going to be equal to 8 cm. So we can see that triangle OAB is same as triangle OBC. They both are identical. Now keeping this in mind let us start to solve the triangle OAB. Now since OA becomes equal to OB because they are the radius, we can say that angle OBA is also 52 degrees. Similarly, we can say that angle OBC is 52 degrees and angle OCB is also equal to 52 degrees because the triangles are same. Now once we get that we can make the angle B as a total angle and we can add the 52 degrees with the 52 degrees giving us a total angle of 104 degrees. So we have angle B as 104 degrees. Now let us see if we can use any circle theorem over here to find out angle D. We can say that A, B, C, D and back to A is a cyclic quadrilateral because the vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circle and the theorem which relates to the cyclic quadrilateral is given as you can see I have already drawn a circle let me join the points A, B, C, D and back to A now the theorem states that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. Now angle A and angle C are the opposite angles. So according to the theorem we can write it as angle A plus angle C will add to give us 180 degrees. The same thing applies to angle B and angle D because they both are opposite angles. So we can write it as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Now in the above given example as we saw that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral angle B is opposite to angle D. Hence we can write here angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. So we have got the angle B as 104 degrees plus we need to find out the angle D. So we can write it as angle ADC as well. So let us write as angle ADC is equal to 180 degrees. So we have got the angle ADC as 180 minus 104. So we get the angle ADC as 76 degrees. So this is how we find out the given angle. 
So make sure that you understand that the two triangles are same. Hence the angles are going to be same for each other. And once we combine the angle, we are going to use the cyclic quadrilateral theorem to find out the angle D. Hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.